I'm Dave Kaiser from CCX Media. Thanks for joining us for the special update from the City of Plymouth. And as you see, we are going to be talking parks. Two special guests with us. Barb Northway is the Deputy Director of Parks and Recreation for the City of Plymouth. Carrie Hemp, the Recreation Manager. Welcome to both of you. I love your backgrounds. You look like you're out and about in Plymouth. How are you today? Very good. Thank you for asking. Thanks for joining us. We're going to talk two main topics today. One is Connect to Rec, a new virtual program to keep you up and moving. But first, let's talk, Barb, a little bit about use of the parks and trails within the city. Give us a few pointers, a few reminders as we head out and about in the city, because exercising is so important. It sure is. And, and that's part of, I think, in our uh, trying to keep mentally healthy is to get outside and, and be able to enjoy some of the nature. I think it helps people um, with the quarantine and the thought, you know, thoughts of, of COVID-19. It's nice to get out and get a little fresh air and exercise. So as it gets warmer, we're looking, of course, for people to definitely use the parks and to get out and enjoy the parks. But with that comes some safety things that we want to think about, and that is to make sure that you social distance, say you're six feet away, and, and uh, you know, as you're walking, make sure you, you're doing that. Um, you know, get out and walk and enjoy nature and bike and walk your dog and hopscotch and all those things. We want you to do that. But the things that we prefer you not do and, and absolutely believe you should not do is touch some of the surfaces within the park, because there's no way of us sanitizing everything. So stay away from the playgrounds, um, the courts, uh, you know, where you share equipment or you might congregate as, as a group of people. We want to limit that, but that should be just your own household. If you're, you know, wanting to, to do something where you might share equipment, you definitely should not mix households because that would be different people touching the equipment. Um, so, and, and also trying to keep, you know, the groups down to a smaller size. So um, all of those things are important and, uh, and probably last but not least is if you feel sick, stay at home. That's what their, the Minnesota Department of Health and the Centers for Disease Control tells us to do. And so we think those are great guidelines and we'll follow those. All of that great information on the city's website as well. There's a COVID-19 area and you can find out some of the latest updates from the city. Thanks, Barb. Carrie, let's turn to you. Let's talk a little bit about Connect to Rec. So virtually we can get involved in programming. Tell us a little bit about the thought process and how this works for residents. Thank you, Dave. Uh, the Parks and Rec team, we've been very busy on creating many different opportunities for residents to be able to get involved from, the, from their homes. Uh, we're very excited to be able to offer Connect to Rec. Uh, we have many virtual classes that have started up in the last week to two weeks. They are anything from fitness classes to arts classes. Uh, we have some education and safety classes, and we're starting to now offer some of our sports and athletic classes, along with some dance opportunities and music lessons. So we're very excited for that piece of it. Another portion of our program that we are also offering is um, a community engagement piece. So we are also off, um, putting out some different hidden gems within the city that people can go out and visit um, at a social, socially distanced um, opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, we're featuring some parks on a weekly basis that, where you can go out and visit along with um, some nature-based play, nature play areas throughout the city. Um, we're doing some social media interaction um, so just keep a look at, look out for those through social media on our website. Uh, we have lots of different places that people can try to get involved, not only with paid programming, but also free programming and some community engagement pieces. So we're very excited to be able to offer those to the community. There's a lot to be found on the city's website. Again, looking at the information Carrie just mentioned, you can specifically go to PlymouthMN.gov slash connect to rec. We'll get you there. And as Barb mentioned, again, information about the use of the parks and the trails, all of that on the city's website. Carrie, Barb, thank you very much for your time today and for the update. And do keep, keep us up to date if there's other items in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Learn more about the connection at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.